I've, uh, I've always been interested in the natural environment from a young age. I grew up watching people like David Attenborough and Steve Irwin and even Brian Cox to an extent. And um, that sort of led me to a career in STEM and I loved doing science subjects at school so I did geography, physics and maths and led me to do a bachelor's degree in environmental science and then did a master's degree in climate change. Well, it was at first it was pretty much like everyone. I was in high school, I loved maths and physics. That's what I was kind of best at and engineering was kind of an obvious answer. So I went into engineering to university without really knowing which field I was getting into. And first year we kind of did everything. I absolutely loved mechanical and just pursued that. So I think um, knowing what career you want to go into when you're younger is really hard to decide. There's so many options and opportunities and trying to find a right fit for you is sometimes really challenging. But I think construction is a really good gateway into so many different options that even if you try something for the first time and it's not really something that you're necessarily as the perfect fit for you then it kind of gives you the skills that would let you kind of try something a bit different um, across any engineering, surveying or project management opportunities. When I was at college I had a really high interest in mathematics and ICT which were the courses I took. It's only when I went into the careers office at my college that they said they asked me if I wanted to go to an, for an interview to become a quantity surveyor but it's only when I looked into it I understood that my interests at college and what I was really, really passionate about aligned with this career aspects. I enjoy working with my team, everyone's really friendly and helpful um, and I enjoy working on all the different projects that we have here at Waterman. One of the schemes that we're working on at the moment called Graven Hill is the largest self-build site in the UK and some of the homes that the people have built on the site are incredible and it's amazing to be a part of that project. So the variety at Waterman is great. We have so many different teams covering so many different elements. You've got from ecology to noise to land contamination and uh, whoever needs help, someone is going to be willing to help out. I think coming from an engineering background really gives you the skills to kind of open up and learn anything. And I think everyone's doing learning sustainability. No one has the full answer and that's what actually makes it very exciting and challenging. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about generally around the construction industry is that you're maybe a builder or something like that. But I think there's so much more to it, whether that's designing or um, surveying, um, project management, planning. There's, there's so many opportunities and so many different roles that it isn't always necessarily about going out on site and getting your boots dirty. There's so much more to it. I think a lot of people just think that I go and sit in fields, <laughs> tasting the air and seeing if there's any bugs or bats and it's a lot more than that. It's um, I do a lot of computer modelling and a lot of Excel work and a lot of report writing. I, I'm not just I'm not just sitting in a field. <laughs> I really like the fact that I get to do a lot of different things. Uh, sometimes I will be working on regulations and policy reviews and next hour I'm working on a buildings energy modeling or carbon modeling and I really love that and it's also um, a job that's really evolving day by day and you know every day there's something published, new regulations, new guidance and that really changes your work and it's really nice to always have different things going on. No project I've ever come across is the same, everyone is always completely different. I've done theatres, I've done offices, healthcare, education, I'm currently looking at a lot of life science projects as well. It's a new up and coming sector that's really branching out across the whole of the UK and they are so unique in their needs and their requirements. I'm so early in my career, so uh, I don't have any, I wouldn't say defining, but I can't wait to see what is going to come, to see the developments that I've been working on over the last year, to see them thrive and flourish in the future is going to be really rewarding. International Women in Engineering Day is so important because you can't be what you can't see. So the more women that we have in the industry, the more it will inspire the future generations to become engineers.